Apostrophe, Wikipedia article audio. Cent, cent, dollar, euro, m, p, pound, yen. The apostrophe character is a punctuation mark, and sometimes a diacritical mark, in languages that use the Latin alphabet and some other alphabets. In English it is used for several purposes. Usage in English Historical development The word apostrophe comes ultimately from Greek P, S, T, F, turning away, or elision, through Latin and French. The apostrophe looks the same as a closing single quotation mark in many fonts, although they have different meanings and Unicode recommends using the quotation mark character to represent most uses of the apostrophe. The apostrophe also looks similar to, but is not the same as, the prime symbol, which is used to indicate measurement in feet or arc minutes, as well as for various mathematical purposes, and the, okina, which represents a glottal stop in Polynesian languages. Other substitutes such as and are common due to ambiguous treatment of the apostrophe in digital typesetting. The apostrophe was first used by Pietro Bimbo in his edition of De Etna. It was introduced into English in the 16th century in imitation of French practice. Introduced by Geoffroy Torrey, the apostrophe was used in place of a vowel letter to indicate elision. It was also frequently used in place of a final E when it was elided before a vowel, as in un -ur. Modern French orthography has restored the spelling un -ur. From the 16th century, following French practice, the apostrophe was used when a vowel letter was omitted either because of incidental elision or because the letter no longer represented a sound. English spelling retained many inflections that were not pronounced as syllables, notably verb endings and the noun ending es, which marked either plurals or possessives. So apostrophe followed by s was often used to mark a plural, especially when the noun was a loan word. French practice The use of elision has continued to the present day but significant changes have been made to the possessive and plural uses. By the 18th century, apostrophe and s was regularly used for all possessive singular forms, even when the letter e was not omitted. This was regarded as representing the Old English genitive singular inflection es. The plural use was greatly reduced, but a need was felt to mark possessive plural. The solution was to use an apostrophe after the plural s. However, this was not universally accepted until the mid-19th century. The apostrophe is used to indicate possession. This convention distinguishes possessive singular forms from simple plural forms, and both of those from possessive plural forms. Early English Practice for singulars, the modern possessive or genitive inflection is a survival from certain genitive inflections in Old English, and the apostrophe originally marked the loss of the old e. For most singular nouns the ending s is added, e.g., the cat's whiskers. When the noun is a normal plural, with an added s, no extra s is added in the possessive so the neighbor's garden is standard rather than the neighbor's garden. Standardization Compound nouns have their singular possessives formed with an apostrophe and an added s, in accordance with the rules given above, the Attorney General's husband, the Lord Warden of the Sink Port's s prerogative, this Minister for Justice's intervention, her father-in-law's new wife. Possessive apostrophe For two nouns joined by and, there are several ways of expressing possession, including 
general principles for the possessive apostrophe. Some grammars make no distinction in meaning between the two forms. Some publishers' style guides, however, make a distinction, assigning the segregatory meaning to the form John's and Mary's and the combinatorial meaning to the form John and Mary's. A third alternative is a construction of the form Jack's children and Jill's, which is always distributive, i.e. it designates the combined set of Jack's children and Jill's children. When a coordinate possessive construction has two personal pronouns, the normal possessive inflection is used, and there is no apostrophe. The issue of the use of the apostrophe arises when the coordinate construction includes a noun and a pronoun. In this case, the inflection of only the last item may sometimes be, at least marginally, acceptable. The inflection of both is normally preferred, but there is a tendency to avoid this construction, too, in favor of a construction that does not use a coordinate possessive. Where a construction like Jack's and your dog's is used, the interpretation is usually segregatory. Singular nouns ending with an S or Z sound. If the word or compound includes, or even ends with, a punctuation mark, an apostrophe, and an S are still added in the usual way, westward ho. S railway station, away. S. Paulette Witten recorded Bob Wilson's story, Washington, D.C.S. Museums, assuming that the prevailing style requires full stops in D.C. An apostrophe is used in time and money references, among others, in constructions such as one hour's respite, two weeks' holiday, a dollar's worth, five pounds' worth, one mile's drive from here. This is like an ordinary possessive use. For example, one hour's respite means a respite of one hour. Exceptions are accounted for in the same way, three months pregnant s pregnant. No apostrophe is used in the following possessive pronouns and adjectives, yours, his, hers, ours, its, theirs, and whose. The possessive of it was originally its, and it is a common mistake today to write it this way, though the apostrophe was dropped in the early 1800s and authorities are now unanimous that its can be only a contraction of it is or it has. All other possessive pronouns ending in s do take an apostrophe, one's, everyone's, somebody's, nobody else's, etc. With plural forms, the apostrophe follows the s, as with nouns, the other's husband's. Nouns ending with silent s, x, or z. Each of these four phrases has a distinct meaning. Possessives in geographic names. Kingsley Amos, on being challenged to produce a sentence whose meaning depended on a possessive apostrophe, came up with the marking of the omission of one or more letters, the marking of possessive case, the marking of plurals of individual characters. This subsection deals with singular nouns pronounced with a sibilant sound at the end, slash s slash or slash z slash. The spelling of these ends with s, s e, z, z, c, x, or x e. Many respected authorities recommend that practically all singular nouns, including those ending with a sibilant sound, have possessive forms with an extra s after the apostrophe so that the spelling reflects the underlying pronunciation. Examples include Oxford University Press, the Modern Language Association, the BBC, and The Economist. Such authorities demand possessive singulars like these, Senator Jones's umbrella, Tony Adams's friend. Rules that modify or extend the standard principle have included the following. If a singular noun ends with an S sound, 
practice varies as to whether to add s or the apostrophe alone. A widely accepted practice is to follow whichever spoken form is judged better, the boss's shoes, MRS Jones hat. In many cases, both spoken and written forms differ between writers, acronyms and initialisms used as nouns follow the same rules as singular nouns, e.g., the TV's picture quality. Although less common, some contemporary writers still follow the older practice of omitting the extra s in all cases ending with a sibilant, but usually not when written x or xe. Some contemporary authorities such as the Associated Press style book recommend or allow the practice of omitting the extra s in all words ending with an s, but not in words ending with other sibilants. The 15th edition of the Chicago Manual of Style recommended the traditional practice, which included providing for several exceptions to accommodate spoken usage such as the omission of the extra s after a polysyllabic word ending in a sibilant, but the 16th edition no longer recommends omitting the extra s. Possessives in Names of Organizations Possessives in Business Names Apostrophe showing omission. Use in forming some plurals. Similar examples of notable names ending in an S that are often given a possessive apostrophe with no additional S include Dickens and Williams. There is often a policy of leaving off the additional S on any such name, but this can prove problematic when specific names are contradictory in the area of ST. James's Park in London. Having said that, there has been ongoing debate around the punctuation of St. James Park for some time, contrary to St. James's Park which is the less contentious version. For more details on practice with geographic names, see the relevant section below. If the plural is not one that is formed by adding s, an s is added for the possessive, after the apostrophe, children's hats, women's hairdresser, some people's eyes. These principles are universally accepted, a few English nouns have plurals that are not spelled with a final s but nevertheless end in an s slash or a slash z slash sound, mice, dice, pence. In the absence of specific exceptional treatment in style guides, the possessives of these plurals are formed by adding an apostrophe and an s in the standard way, seven titmice s tails were found, the dice's last fall was a seven, his few pence's value was not enough to buy bread. These would often be rephrased, where possible, the last fall of the dice was a seven. Some writers like to reflect standard spoken practice in cases like these with sake, for convenience sake, for goodness sake, for appearance sake, for compromise sake, etc. This punctuation is preferred in major style guides. Others prefer to add s, for convenience's sake. Still others prefer to omit the apostrophe when there is an s sound before sake, for morality's sake, but for convenience sake. The Supreme Court of the United States is split on whether a possessive singular noun that ends with s should always have an additional s after the apostrophe, sometimes have an additional s after the apostrophe, or never have an additional s after the apostrophe. The informal majority view has favored the additional s, but a strong minority disagrees. The English possessive of French nouns ending in a silent s, x, or z is addressed by various style guides. Certainly a sibilant is pronounced in examples like Descartes and Dumas's, the question addressed here is whether s needs to be added. Similar examples with x or z, sauce Perigurus's main ingredient is truffle, his pants nez s loss went unnoticed, vero eagle, a large, predominantly black eagle, Aquila Verosi, in. Each of these some writers might omit the added S. 
The same principles and residual uncertainties apply with naturalized English words, like Illinois and Arkansas. In such examples, the plurals are formed with an S that does not occur at the end, e.g., attorneys general. A problem therefore arises with the possessive plurals of these compounds. Sources that rule on the matter appear to favor the following forms, in which there is both an S added to form the plural, and a separate S added for the possessive, the attorneys general's husbands, successive ministers for justice's interventions, their fathers-in-law's new wives. Because these constructions stretch the resources of punctuation beyond comfort, in practice they are normally rewarded, interventions by successive ministers for justice. For possessive plurals of words ending in silent X, Z, or S, the few authorities that address the issue at all typically call for an added S and suggest that the apostrophe precede the S, the Lushira's homeland is in the Yukon. Compare the two Dumas's literary achievements. The possessive of a cited French title with a silent plural ending is uncertain, Trois Femmes' long and complicated publication history, but Lainos's singular effect was exotic primitive. Compare treatment of other titles, above. Guides typically seek a principle that will yield uniformity even for foreign words that fit awkwardly with standard English punctuation. Place names in the United States do not use the possessive apostrophe on federal maps and signs. The United States Board on Geographic Names, which has responsibility for formal naming of municipalities and geographic features, has deprecated the use of possessive apostrophes since 1890 so as not to show ownership of the place. Only five names of natural features in the U.S. are officially spelled with a genitive apostrophe, Martha's Vineyard, Ike's Point, New Jersey, John E.'s Pond, Rhode Island, Carlos Elmer's Joshua View, Arizona, and Clark's Mountain, Oregon. Use in non-English names Australia's Intergovernmental Committee on Surveying and Mapping also has a no-apostrophe policy, a practice it says goes back to the 1900s and which is generally followed around the country. On the other hand, the United Kingdom has Bishop's Stortford, Bishop's Castle and King's Lynn but St Albans, St Andrews and St Helens. London Underground's Piccadilly line has the adjacent stations of Earl's Court in Earl's Court and Barons Court. These names were mainly fixed in form many years before grammatical rules were fully standardised. While Newcastle United play football at a stadium called St James Park, and Exeter City at St James Park, London has a St James's Park. The special circumstances of the latter case may be this, the customary pronunciation of this place name is reflected in the addition of an extra S, since usage is firmly against a doubling of the final S without an apostrophe, this place name has an apostrophe. This could be regarded as an example of a double genitive, it refers to the park of the parish of St. James. Modern usage has been influenced by considerations of technological convenience including the economy of typewriter ribbons and films, and similar computer character disallowance which tend to ignore past standards. Practice in the United Kingdom and Canada is not so uniform. Use in transliteration Non-standard English use Superfluous apostrophes Sometimes the apostrophe is omitted in the names of clubs, societies, and other organizations, even though the standard principles seem to require it, country women's association, but international aviation women's association, magistrates court of Victoria, but federated ship painters and dockers union. Usage is variable and inconsistent. 
Style guides typically advise consulting an official source for the standard form of the name, some tend towards greater prescriptiveness, for or against such an apostrophe. As the case of women's shows, it is not possible to analyze these forms simply as non-possessive plurals, since women is the only correct plural form of woman. Where a business name is based on a family name it should in theory take an apostrophe, but many leave it out. In recent times there has been an increasing tendency to drop the apostrophe. Names based on a first name are more likely to take an apostrophe, but this is not always the case. Some business names may inadvertently spell a different name if the name with an S at the end is also a name, such as Parson. A small activist group called the Apostrophe Protection Society has campaigned for large retailers such as Harrods, Coe's, and Selfridges to reinstate their missing punctuation. A spokesperson for Barclays PLC stated, it has just disappeared over the years. Barclays is no longer associated with the family name. Further confusion can be caused by businesses whose names look as if they should be pronounced differently without an apostrophe, such as Paolo's Circus, and other companies that leave the apostrophe out of their logos but include it in written text, such as Cadwallader's. An apostrophe is commonly used to indicate omitted characters, normally letters. The plural of single lowercase letters is usually indicated by adding an apostrophe and an s, as in. The apostrophe may also be used for clarity in other cases of single letters or digits, as in. Omission. An apostrophe is used by some writers to form a plural for abbreviations, initials including acronyms, and symbols, especially where adding just s rather than s may leave meaning ambiguous or presentation inelegant. Some specific cases For abbreviations, acronyms, etc., use of s without an apostrophe is now more common than its use with an apostrophe but for single lowercase letters, pluralization with S is usual. Names that are not strictly native to English sometimes have an apostrophe substituted to represent other characters. In transliterated foreign words, an apostrophe may be used to separate letters or syllables that otherwise would likely be interpreted incorrectly. For example, Furthermore, an apostrophe may be used to indicate a glottal stop in transliterations. For example, rather than, the apostrophe is sometimes used to indicate a voiced pharyngeal fricative as it sounds and looks like the glottal stop to most English speakers. For example, if you have a name that ends in S, or if you will observe homemade signs selling tomatoes or chili and beans, you will quickly note what can be done with a possessive apostrophe in reckless hands. Failure to observe standard use of the apostrophe is widespread and frequently criticized as incorrect, often generating heated debate. The British founder of the Apostrophe Protection Society earned a 2001 IG Nobel Prize for efforts to protect, promote, and defend the differences between plural and possessive. A 2004 report by British Examination Board OCR stated that the inaccurate use of the apostrophe is so widespread as to be almost universal. A 2008 survey found that nearly half of the UK adults polled were unable to use the apostrophe correctly. Apostrophes used in a non-standard manner to form noun plurals are known as green grocers apostrophes or grocers apostrophes, often called green grocers apostrophes and grocers apostrophes. They are sometimes humorously called green grocers apostrophes, rogue apostrophes, or idiots apostrophes. The practice, once common and acceptable, 
comes from the identical sound of the plural and possessive forms of most English nouns. It is often criticized as a form of hypercorrection coming from a widespread ignorance of the proper use of the apostrophe or of punctuation in general. Lynn Truss, author of Eats, Shoots and Leaves, points out that before the 19th century, it was standard orthography to use the apostrophe to form a plural of a foreign-sounding word that ended in a vowel to clarify pronunciation. Truss says this usage is no longer considered proper in formal writing. The term is believed to have been coined in the middle of the 20th century by a teacher of languages working in Liverpool, at a time when such mistakes were common in the handwritten signs and advertisements of green grocers. Some have argued that its use in mass communication by employees of well-known companies has led to the less literate assuming it to be standard and adopting the habit themselves. Particular Cases Other Misuses The same use of apostrophe before noun plural s forms is sometimes made by non-native speakers of English. For example, in Dutch the apostrophe is inserted before the s when pluralizing most words ending in a vowel or y for example, babies, and radios. This often produces so-called dunglish errors when carried over into English. Hyperforeignism has been formalized in some pseudo-anglicisms. For example, the French word pins is used for collectible lapel pins. Similarly, there is an Andorran football club called FC Rangers, a Japanese dance group called Super Monkeys, and a Japanese pop-punk band called the Titan Go Kings. In the UK there is a tendency to drop apostrophes in many commonly used names such as St. Annas, St. John's Lane, and so on. Criticism in 2009 a resident in Royal Tunbridge Wells was accused of vandalism by one neighbor after he painted apostrophes on road signs that had spelled the street name as St. John's Close. Non-English use As a mark of elision As a glottal stop As a mark of palatalization or non-palatalization To separate morphemes Miscellaneous uses in other languages Typographic form Unicode Computing ASCII encoding Typographic apostrophe in 8-bit encodings Entering apostrophes Smart quotes Programming UK supermarket chain Tesco omits the mark where standard practice would require it. Signs in Tesco advertise men's magazines, girls' toys, kids' books and women's shoes. In his book Troublesome Words, author Bill Bryson lambastes Tesco for this, stating that the mistake is inexcusable, and those who make it are linguistic Neanderthals. George Bernard Shaw, a proponent of English spelling reform on phonetic principles, argued that the apostrophe was mostly redundant. He did not use it for spelling can't, he's, etc., in many of his writings. He did, however, allow I'm and it's. Hubert Selby Jr. used a slash instead of an apostrophe mark for contractions and did not use an apostrophe at all for possessives. Lewis Carroll made greater use of apostrophes, and frequently used sha and t, with an apostrophe in place of the elided lol as well as the more usual o. These authors' usages have not become widespread. The British pop group Hearsay famously made unconventional use of an apostrophe in its name. Truss comments that the naming of Hearsay in 2001 was a significant milestone on the road to punctuation anarchy. Dexys Midnight Runners, on the other hand, omit the apostrophe.
An apostrophe wrongly thought to be misused is in the name of rock band the LAs. This apostrophe is often thought to be a mistake, but in fact it marks omission of the letter D. The name comes from the Scouse slang for the lads. The overuse of apostrophes in names in fantasy literature was satirized by Neil Stevenson in Reamed. Over the years, the use of apostrophes has been criticized. George Bernard Shaw called them uncouth bacilli. In his book American Speech, linguist Stephen Byington stated of the apostrophe that the language would be none the worse for its abolition. Adrian Room in his English Journal article axing the apostrophe argued that apostrophes are unnecessary, and context will resolve any ambiguity. In a letter to the English Journal, Peter Brody stated that apostrophes are largely decorative, rarely clarify meaning. Dr. John C. Wells, Emeritus Professor of Phonetics at University College London, says the apostrophe is a waste of time. In many languages, especially European languages, the apostrophe is used to indicate the elision of one or more sounds, as in English. Several languages and transliteration systems use the apostrophe or some similar mark to indicate a glottal stop, sometimes considering it a letter of the alphabet. The apostrophe represents sounds resembling the glottal stop in the Turkic languages and in some romanizations of Semitic languages, including Arabic. In typography, this function may be performed by the closing single quotation mark. In that case, the Arabic letter Ain is correspondingly transliterated with the opening single quotation mark. Some languages and transliteration systems use the apostrophe to mark the presence, or the lack of, palatalization. Some languages use the apostrophe to separate the root of a word and its affixes, especially if the root is foreign and unassimilated. The form of the apostrophe originates in manuscript writing, as a point with a downwards tail curving clockwise. This form was inherited by the typographic apostrophe, also known as the typeset apostrophe, or, informally, the curly apostrophe. Later sans-serif typefaces had stylized apostrophes with a more geometric or simplified form, but usually retaining the same directional bias as a closing quotation mark. With the invention of the typewriter, a neutral quotation mark form was created to economize on the keyboard, by using a single key to represent, the apostrophe, both opening and closing single quotation marks, single primes, and on some typewriters the exclamation point by overprinting with a period. This is known as the typewriter apostrophe or vertical apostrophe. The same convention was adopted for quotation marks. Both simplifications carried over to computer keyboards and the ASCII character set. However, although these are widely used due to their ubiquity and convenience, they are deprecated in contexts where proper typography is important. Unicode defines three apostrophe characters. Characters similar to apostrophe The typewriter apostrophe was inherited by computer keyboards, and is the only apostrophe character available in the ASCII character encoding, at code value 0x27. As such, it is a highly overloaded character. In ASCII, it represents a left single quotation mark, right single quotation mark, apostrophe, vertical line, or prime, or an acute accent. Many earlier computer displays and printers rendered the ASCII apostrophe as a typographic apostrophe, and rendered the ASCII grave accent U plus 0060 as a matching left single quotation mark. This allowed a more typographic appearance of text. I can't would appear as I can't on these systems. 
This can still be seen in many documents prepared at that time, and is still used in the text typesetting system to create typographic quotes. Support for the typographic apostrophe was introduced in several 8-bit character encodings, such as the Apple Macintosh operating system's Mac Roman character set, and later in the CP1252 encoding of Microsoft Windows. Both sets also used this code point for a closing single quote. There is no such character in ISO 8859 to 1. Microsoft Windows CP1252 contains the typographic apostrophe at 0x92. Due to smart quotes in Microsoft software converting the ASCII apostrophe to this value, other software makers have been forced to adopt this as a de facto convention. For instance the HTML5 standard specifies that this value is interpreted as CP1252. Some earlier non-Microsoft browsers would display a, for this and make web pages composed with Microsoft software somewhat hard to read. Although ubiquitous in typeset material, the typographic apostrophe is rather difficult to enter on a computer, since it does not have its own key on a standard keyboard. Outside the world of professional typesetting and graphic design, Many people do not know how to enter this character and instead use the typewriter apostrophe. The typewriter apostrophe has always been considered tolerable on web pages because of the egalitarian nature of web publishing, the low resolution of computer monitors in comparison to print, and legacy limitations provided by ASCII. More recently, the standard use of the typographic apostrophe is becoming more common on the web due to the wide adoption of the Unicode text encoding standard, higher resolution displays, and advanced anti-aliasing of text in modern operating systems. Because typewriter apostrophes are now often automatically converted to typographic apostrophes by word processing and desktop publishing software. The typographic apostrophe does often appear in documents produced by non-professionals. Compose or, Control plus, Shift plus U2019, Enter. XML defines an character entity reference for the ASCII typewriter apostrophe is officially supported in HTML since HTML5. It is not defined in HTML4 despite all the other predefined character entities from XML being defined. If it cannot be entered literally in HTML, a numeric character reference could be used instead, such as, or and number 39. In the HTML entity and arsquo, the arsquo is short for RID single quotation mark. To make typographic apostrophes easier to enter, word processing and publishing software often converts typewriter apostrophes to typographic apostrophes during text entry. A similar facility may be offered on web servers after submitting text in a form field, e.g. on weblogs or free encyclopedias. This is known as the smart quotes feature apostrophes and quotation marks that are not automatically altered by computer programs are known as dumb quotes. Such conversion is not always done in accordance with the standards for character sets and encodings. Additionally, many such software programs incorrectly convert a leading apostrophe to an opening quotation mark, or twas instead of twas as the archaic abbreviation of it was. Smart quote features also often fail to recognize situations when a prime rather than an apostrophe is needed, for example, incorrectly rendering the latitude 49 degrees 53 minutes 08 as 49 degrees 53 08. In Microsoft Word it is possible to turn smart quotes off. Alternatively, Typing Ctrl Z immediately after entering the apostrophe will convert it back to a typewriter apostrophe.
In Microsoft Word for Windows, holding down the control key while typing two apostrophes will produce a single typographic apostrophe. Some programming languages, like Pascal, use the ASCII apostrophe to delimit string literal. In JavaScript, Perl, PHP, and Python, and many other languages either the apostrophe or the double quote may be used, allowing string literals to contain the other character. The C programming language uses apostrophes to delimit a character literal. In these languages a character is a different object than a one-letter string. In C++, since C++14, apostrophes are also used as digit separators in numeric literals. In Visual Basic an apostrophe is used to denote the start of a comment. In the Lisp family of programming languages, an apostrophe is a shorthand for quote operator. In Rust, in addition to being used to delimit a character literal, an apostrophe can start an explicit lifetime. Notes Bibliography If the word or compound already includes a possessive apostrophe, a double possessive results, Tom's sister's careers, the head of marketing's husband's preference, the master of foxhound's best dog's death. Many style guides, while allowing that these constructions are possible, advise rephrasing, the head of marketing's husband prefers that. If an original apostrophe, or apostrophe with S, occurs at the end, it is left by itself to do double duty, our employees are better paid than McDonald's employees, standard and poor's indices are widely used. The fixed forms of McDonald's and Standard and Poor's already include possessive apostrophes. For similar cases involving geographical names, see below. Similarly, the possessives of all phrases whose wording is fixed are formed in the same way us and them's inclusion on the album The Dark Side of the Moon, UMIS latest CD, the 69 ERS drummer, Tom Callahan. His and hers s first track is called Joyriders. Was she s success greater, or King Solomon's Mines s? My sister's friends' investments, my sister's friends' investments, my sister's friends' investments, my sister's friends' investments. Those things over there are my husband's, those things over there are my husband's. Those things over there are my husband's. If the singular possessive is difficult or awkward to pronounce with an added sibilant, do not add an extra s. These exceptions are supported by The Guardian, Yahoo! Style Guide, and the American Heritage Book of English Usage. Such sources permit possessive singulars like these, Socrates' later suggestion, or Achilles' heel if that is how the pronunciation is intended, classical, biblical, and similar names ending in a sibilant, especially if they are polysyllabic, do not take an added s in the possessive, among sources giving exceptions of this kind are the times and the elements of style, which make general stipulations, and Vanderbilt University, which mentions only Moses and Jesus. As a particular case, Jesus is very commonly written instead of Jesus's even by people who would otherwise add s in, for example, James's or Chris's. Jesus is referred to as an accepted liturgical archaism in Hart's Rules. It is used in contractions, such as can't from cannot, it's from it is or it has, and I'll from I will or I shall. It is used in abbreviations, as government for government. It may indicate omitted numbers where the spoken form is also capable of omissions, as 70s for 1970s representing 70s for 1970s. In modern usage, apostrophes are generally omitted when letters are removed from the start of a word, particularly for a compound word. 
For example, it is not common to write bus, phone, net. However, if the shortening is unusual, dialectal, or archaic, the apostrophe may still be used to mark it. Sometimes a misunderstanding of the original form of a word results in a non-standard contraction. A common example, till for until, though till is in fact the original form, and until is derived from it, the spelling f-o-c-s-l-e, contracted from the nautical term foxel, is unusual for having three apostrophes. The spelling bosanes, as in bosanes mate, also has three apostrophes, two showing omission and one possession. Focsle may also take a possessive s as in the focsle's timbers giving four apostrophes in one word. A word which formerly contained two apostrophes is shant for shall not, examples of which may be found in the older works of P.G. Wodehouse and Frank Richards, but this has been superseded by shant. For groups of years, most style guides prefer 1960s to 1960s and 90s or 90s to 90s or 90s, the apostrophe is sometimes used in forming the plural of numbers, for example 1000s of years, though discouraged by several guides. An alternative is to write out the numbers as words, the apostrophe is often used in plurals of symbols. For example that page has too many and s and number s on it. Some style guides state that the apostrophe is unnecessary since there is no ambiguity but that some editors and teachers prefer this usage. The addition of an s without an apostrophe may make the text difficult to read. Anglicized versions of Irish surnames often contain an apostrophe after an o, for example o dual. Some Scottish and Irish surnames use an apostrophe after an M, for example M. Gregor. The apostrophe here may be seen as marking a contraction where the prefix MC or MAC would normally appear. However, it may also arise from confusion of, which was used as a substitute for superscript C when printing with handset metal type. Compare, M. Lean, M. C. Lean. M lean. In the Arabic word muse half, a transliteration of the syllables are as in muse half, not muse shaf. In the Japanese name Shinichi, the apostrophe shows that the pronunciation is shi and i chi, where the letters n and i are separate mori, rather than shi and i chi. In the Chinese pinyin romanization, the apostrophe is used before a syllable starting with a vowel in a multiple syllable word when the syllable does not start the word, unless the syllable immediately follows a hyphen or other dash. This is done to remove ambiguity that could arise, as in Xi'an, which consists of the two syllables 11 and, compared to such words as Xian. In the Arabic word Quran, a common transliteration of al Quran, the apostrophe corresponds to the diacritic mata over the olive, one of the letters in the Arabic alphabet. In the Arabic word ka'abafor, al ka, ba, the apostrophe corresponds to the Arabic letter, ain. In Albanian the apostrophe is used to show that a vowel has been omitted from words especially in different forms of verbs and in some forms of personal pronoun. For example, ti them, am I mori. It is used too in some of the forms of possessive pronouns, for example, s eames, in Afrikaans the apostrophe is used to show that letters have been omitted from words. The most common use is in the indefinite article n, which is a contraction of in meaning one. As the initial e is omitted and cannot be capitalized, if a sentence begins with n the second word in the sentence is capitalized. For example, n boom is grown, a tree is green. In addition, 
the apostrophe is used for plurals and diminutives where the root ends with long vowels, e.g. photos, taxis, lulus, lulutija, etc. In Danish, apostrophes are sometimes seen on commercial materials. One might commonly see Tomig Med next to a stand with advertisement leaflets, that would be written Tag Mig Med in standard orthography. As in German, the apostrophe must not be used to indicate the possessive, except when there is already an S, X, or Z present in the base form, as in E Sages Bog. In Dutch, the apostrophe is used to indicate omitted characters. For example, the indefinite article een can be shortened to n, and the definite article het shortened to t. When this happens in the first word of a sentence, the second word of the sentence is capitalized. In general, this way of using the apostrophe is considered non-standard, except in s morgens, s middas, s avons, s nax. In addition, the apostrophe is used for plurals where the singulars end with long vowels, e.g. photos, taxis, and for the genitive of proper names ending with these vowels, e.g. Anna's, autos. These are in fact elided vowels, use of the apostrophe prevents spellings like photos and anas. However, most diminutives do not use an apostrophe where the plural forms would producing spellings such as photoage and taxiage, in Esperanto, the fundamento limits the elision mark to the definite article L and singular nominative nouns. This is mostly confined to poetry and songs. Idiomatic phrases such as dank al danko al, thanks to endel are nonetheless frequent. Inward elision is usually marked with a hyphen, as in dro. Some early guides used and advocated the use of apostrophes between word parts, to aid recognition of such compound words as guitaristo, guitarist dot, in Catalan, French, Italian, Ligurian, and Occitan word sequences such as dieta, de hotel, l'aquila, and el hospitalet de la brega. The final vowel in the first word is elided because the word that follows it starts with a vowel or a mute H. Similarly, French has chuil instead of kil, say instead of ceest, and so on. Catalan, French, Italian, and Occitan surnames sometimes contain apostrophes of elision, e.g. de Lambert, D'Angelo, French feminine singular possessive adjectives do not undergo elision, but change to the masculine form instead, ma preceding eglise becomes Monday eglise. Quebec S. Bill 101, which dictates the use of French in the province prohibits the use of apostrophes in proper names in which it would not be used in proper French. Galician language standard admits the use of apostrophe for contractions that normally don't use it but when the second element is a proper noun, mostly a title, ohero diaodizia. They are also used to reproduce oral le science and, as stated below, to join commercial names of popular public establishments, namely bars, and in masculine, may be pretending to remind anglicized versions of Irish surnames, in Ganda, when a word ending with a vowel is followed by a word beginning with a vowel, the final vowel of the first word is elided and the initial vowel of the second word lengthened in compensation. When the first word is a monosyllable, this elision is represented in the orthography with an apostrophe, in Tata W. Abana the father of the children, W. A. becomes W, in Wyani, Y. becomes Y. But the final vowel of a polysyllable is always written, even if it is elided in speech, Omuzaja Oyo, not asterisk Omuzaja Oyo, because Omuzaja is a polysyllable. In modern printings of ancient Greek, apostrophes are also used to mark elision. 
Some ancient Greek words that end in short vowels elide when the next word starts with a vowel. For example, many ancient Greek authors would write d, for d, and, for, a. Such modern usage should be carefully distinguished from polytonic Greek s native rough and smooth breathing marks, which usually appear as a form of rounded apostrophe. In Hebrew, the garage, often typed as an apostrophe, is used to denote initialisms. A double garage, known by the plural form gershayim, is used to denote acronyms, it is inserted before the last letter of the acronym. Examples The garish is also used to indicate the elision of a sound, however, this use is much less frequent, and confined to the purpose of imitating a natural, informal utterance, for example, dot, in Irish, the past tense of verbs beginning with an F or vowel begins with D, for example do oscale becomes d oscale and do hill becomes d hill. The copula is as often elided to s, and do, mo etc. are elided before f and vowels. In Italian, it is used for elision with pronouns, as in elha instead of la ha, articles, as in l'opera instead of la opera, and for truncation, as in po instead of poco. In modern Norwegian, the apostrophe marks that a word has been contracted such as ha -ke -ke from harik. Unlike English and French, such elisions are not accepted as part of standard orthography but are used to create a more oral style in writing. The apostrophe is also used to mark the genitive for words that end in an S sound, words ending in S, X, and Z, some speakers also including words ending in the sound. As Norwegian doesn't form the plural with s, there is no need to distinguish between an s forming the possessive and the s forming the plural. Therefore, we have man and mans, without apostrophe, but los and los. Indicating the possessive for former American presidents George Bush, whose names end in, could be written as both Bushes and Bush. In Portuguese the apostrophe is also used in a few combinations, such as Caixa de Agua, Galanha de Angola, Pau de Aljo, etc. Portuguese has many contractions between prepositions and articles or pronouns, but these are written without an apostrophe. Modern Spanish no longer uses the apostrophe to indicate elision in standard writing although it can sometimes be found in older poetry for that purpose. Instead Spanish writes out the spoken elision in full except for the contraction del for de and el, which uses no apostrophe. Spanish also switches to a form that is identical to the masculine article immediately before a feminine noun beginning with a stressed a instead of writing an elision, un aguila blanca, el aguila blanca and el agua pura but una slash la blanca aguila and la pura agua. This reflects the origin of the Spanish definite articles from the Latin demonstratives il slash illa slash ilum. In Swedish, the apostrophe marks an elision, such as pa stan, short for pa staten, to make the text more similar to the spoken language. This is relaxed style fairly rarely used, and would not be used by traditional newspapers in political articles, but could be used in entertainment-related articles and similar. The formal way to denote elision in Swedish is by using colon, e.g. st Eric for sankt Eric, which is rarely spelled out in full. The apostrophe must not be used to indicate the possessive except although not mandatory when there is already an S, X, or Z present in the base form, as in Lucas Bach, German usage is very similar, an apostrophe is used almost exclusively to indicate omitted letters. It must not be used for plurals or most of the possessive forms, although both usages are widespread, they are deemed incorrect.
the German equivalent of green grocer's apostrophes would be the derogatory Depenapostroph. Welsh uses the apostrophe to mark elision of the definite article year following a vowel, such as ir tie to the house. It is also used with the particle yn, such as with may hi and she is. In several Finno Ugric languages, such as Estonian and Finnish, in Guarani, it is called puso slash puso slash, and used in the words any, kae, a, dot, in Hawaiian, the, okana, an inverted apostrophe, is often rendered as. It is considered a letter of the alphabet, Mayan, in the Tongan language, the apostrophe is called a fako, a and is the last letter of the alphabet. It represents the glottal stop. Like the, okana, it is inverted. Various other Austronesian languages, such as Samoan, Tahitian, and Chamorro, Tetum, one of the official languages of East Timor, the Brazilian native Tupi language, Masi, a language of Burkina Faso, Invora, the apostrophe is used in parallel with the letter Q as symbol of plural, several fictional languages such as Klingon, DNI, Mandue, or NA6. In Belarusian and Ukrainian, the apostrophe is used between a consonant and a following soft vowel to indicate that no palatalization of the preceding consonant takes place, and the vowel is pronounced in the same way as at the beginning of the word. It therefore marks a morpheme boundary before slash j slash, and in Ukrainian, is also occasionally as a quasi letter. It appears frequently in Ukrainian, as, for instance, in the words, 5, departure, united, to clear up, explain, play, etc., in Russian and some derived alphabets the same function is served by the hard sign. But the apostrophe saw some use as a substitute after 1918, when Soviet authorities enforced an orthographic reform by confiscating type bearing that letter parasite from stubborn printing houses in Petrograd, in some Latin transliterations of certain Cyrillic alphabets, the apostrophe is used to replace the soft sign, e.g., is transliterated Rus according to the BGN slash PCGN system. Some of these transliteration schemes use a double apostrophe to represent the apostrophe in Ukrainian and Belarusian text, e.g. Ukrainian, is transliterated as Slavyansk. Some Karelian orthographies use an apostrophe to indicate palatalization, e.g. Nvo, Duri, Elvudia. In Danish an apostrophe is sometimes used to join the enclitic definite article to words of foreign origin, or to other words that would otherwise look awkward. For example, one would write IPN to mean the IP address. There is some variation in what is considered awkward enough to warrant an apostrophe, for instance, Long-established words such as firma or nivo might be written firma et and nivo et, but will generally be seen without an apostrophe. Due to Danish influence, this usage of the apostrophe can also be seen in Norwegian, but as non-standard a hyphen should be used instead, e.g. cdn, in Estonian. Apostrophes can be used in the declension of some foreign names to separate the stem from any declension endings, e.g., Monet, or Monet SSE of Monet. In Finnish, apostrophes are used in the declension of foreign names or loan words that end in a consonant when written but are pronounced with a vowel ending, e.g., show SSA. Bordeaux Hun. For Finnish as well as Swedish, there is a closely related use of the colon. In Polish, the apostrophe is used exclusively for marking inflections of words and word like elements whose spelling conflicts with the normal rules of inflection. This mainly affects foreign words and names. For instance, 
one would correctly write Campania alla Gore for Al Gore's campaign. In this example, Alla is spelt without an apostrophe, since its spelling and pronunciation fit into normal Polish rules, but Gore needs the apostrophe, because E disappears from the pronunciation, changing the inflection pattern. This rule is often misunderstood as calling for an apostrophe after all foreign words, regardless of their pronunciation, yielding the incorrect campania ala gore, for example. The effect is akin to the green grocer's apostrophe, in Turkish, proper nouns are capitalized and an apostrophe is inserted between the noun and any following suffix, e.g. Istanbulda, contrasting with okulda, in Welsh the apostrophe is used within fixed pronouns in order to distinguish them from the preceding word. U plus 0027 apostrophe U plus 0060 grave accent, U plus 00B4 acute accent, U plus 02B9 modifier letter prime, U plus 02BB modifier letter turned comma Hawaiian, Okina and for the transliteration of Arabic and Hebrew, Ain, U plus 02BD modifier letter reversed comma. U plus 02B Modifier letter right half ring Arabic Hamza and Hebrew Alef U plus 02BF Modifier letter left half ring Arabic and Hebrew Ayan U plus 02C8 Modifier letter vertical line stress accent or dynamic accent U plus 02CA Modifier letter acute accent U plus 02E Modifier letter double apostrophe one of two characters for glottal stop in nanats, U plus 0313. Combining comma above also known as combining Greek ally, U plus 0314. Combining reversed comma above also known as combining Greek Dasia, U plus 0315. Combining comma above right, U plus 0343. Combining Greek Coronis identical to U plus 0313, U plus 0374. Greek numeral sign also known as Greek Dexia Karaya, U plus 0384. Greek Tonas, U plus 055A. Armenian apostrophe, U plus 1FBD. Greek Coronis, U plus 1FBF. Greek Salai, U plus 2032 Prime, U plus 2018 Left Single Quotation Mark, U and A78B. Latin Capital Letter Saltilla Saltilla of the Languages of Mexico, U and A78C. Latin Small Letter Saltilla, U and FF07 Full Width Apostrophe Full Width Form of the Typewriter Apostrophe.